let me take time out to acknowledge his presence among us. I always said it's good for us to gather together. The Bible declares we are to do that. Yes. But our gathering is vain if he's not in the midst. And so I take pleasure in knowing that God is can feel his presence. Somebody said, I feel it in my head. Feel it in my feet. And that's made the difference to me. Hallelujah. Let me greet the host pastor. My friend. The mighty man of God to whom I delight. To uphold his hand. A brother and a friend. And a great man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also want to greet our bishop. Yes, yes. A great man of God who uphold the words of God. All the others ministering servants of God. I may not know you all by name, but you know yourself. Men of clergy, ladies of clergy, saints, friends, well wishers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I count it a privilege that God afforded us to be blessed to be in his house tonight. So many on the street roaming not knowing what we know. And having their full understanding of who God is. As the scripture rightly said, we are walking in the true light. Heading for deliverance. Light is very good. A lot of people does not understand that light is a special and a precious thing in the life of each and every one of us. Right here, if you turn the light off, you're going to stumble. And you might even hurt yourself. Because the darkness is destructive. But the light to which we are talking about tonight, it is better than this light. This light cannot penetrate the innermost beam of your soul. But the light that I'm talking about tonight, when you are in your bedroom and you close the door and turn the light off, that light is penetrating your soul. He knows when you are lying. He knows when you are stealing. He knows when you are not biting. He knows when you are lusting. He can read the very inmost thoughts of your mind. to deliver us into God's divine kingdom that he is gone to prepare for us. He said a mansion, not even a house. Somebody say a little cottage. I don't want no cottage. Don't rob me of my mansion. God promised me a mansion. You can stay with your cottage. I want a mansion over there. May God bless your heart. 